Okay, I ran a poll on Twitter, and most of you wanted an injuries video over a school stories video. Which, yeah, that, that makes sense because people hate school and love hearing about me getting hurt. Which is good because all the school stories I have would cross over into another video I have planned for the future when I reach more people. So injuries, woo. Most people injure themselves in their lifetime, whether it's banging your toe on a wall or getting an arrow to the knee, we all get injured. Well, unless you're a sensible, civilized person who consciously avoids danger at all times. Like a nerd. One time I was on my trampoline and my dad and my two brothers and me were doing some sick tricks. One person would do something and then the rest would attempt to do the same. I say attempt because one of my brothers was little and I was not as strong and muscular as I am now. Shut up. So my more active brother did a handstand and then he did a roll. Then my dad did the same. Then my youngest brother, well, he tried. And then it came to my turn. I put my hands down, I lifted my legs up, I fell on my head and crushed it into my chest with all my downward momentum. Plus, I wasn't the skinniest person. I thought I was dying, or had broken my neck, or both. I went to the hospital, as you do when you are dying, but it turns out I was just winded. Yeah. Another time, when I was five, some kid in my class stabbed me with a pencil. The lead bit snapped off in my hand, but I didn't realize it at the time, and the skin healed over. And now I have a piece of pencil lead in my hand. But a few years ago, I went up to my dad and I was like, Dad, you need to dig this out of my skin. So he got a needle and some tweezers and attempted to dig it out. And let me just say, it was pretty far into my skin. So eventually we got to it and tweaked it out. But only some of it came out and pretty much disintegrated when we did. So there's still over half of it in my hand. Okay, my worst injury ever. Well, actually it was probably not my worst. But it's my most memorable injury. I was about eight or nine years old and I got home and my dad was mowing the lawn. And the place was set up like this. The house was here, the garage was here, and there was a little opening into the lawn. I got out of the car, walked to where I could see my dad mowing the lawn, and I waved as you do. But as I was waving, a piece of sharp plastic shot out from under the lawnmower and hit me directly in my left eye. I think it was my left eye. Was it my left eye? I don't know. Shut up. I think it was your right. Shut up! It wasn't, it was my left eye. So Shut up! And it hit me directly in my left eye. And all I can remember is dropping to the ground with my hand over my eye. And my mum rushes over, and I think my dad did as well. They were like, oh dang, welp, your eye's bleeding. We rush inside and take some photos, as you do. Then drive to the hospital and I get checked out. Doctors put some yellow stuff in my eye, and I leave. And I didn't have to go on school camp. Which is good, because I didn't want to go on school camp. And I still have a scar on my left eye. And thanks for watching the video. Don't stand near operating lawnmowers without full body Kevlar protection. Unless you want to get views. Or just, just, just don't stand near lawnmowers, okay? Yeah, th thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. And if you want, have done that and want to show extra support, then uh, follow my Twitter and donate to my Patreon page and link in the description. Join my Discord server if you want to chat to some people, more people who like my videos or people who don't like my videos. There's really a whole range of people in my Discord server. You should go chat to them right now. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. I love you.